Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's me again Chelsea and today I am starting another weekly reading vlog. I got a bit baffled then. I am completely in comfy clothes, it is Monday evening. Uh, I have just come back from my first day of my new job, well not just but it, it takes me ages to get there and ages to get back so that's really fun. <laughs> Hopefully not forever but Anyways, I have got reading sprints on in the background, don't know if you can tell, this is Booked and Busy's channel, so Aaron's channel, she's on with Books and La La, and I am actually waiting, or I meant, well, I thought Rose Sprints were starting now for TBRPG-a-thon, I think I've got that the right way around, I haven't actually watched her video, um, but she's got a video where she announces like a prompt so I might check that out and see if I can do anything she's got loads and loads of sprints planned the sprints on her channel like tonight Tuesday Friday and then 24 hours Saturday Sunday I think so I'll see if I can catch some more of them I'm catching them now because Jack's not home so I thought why not just sit and read for a little bit relax after it wasn't a busy day today but it was a lot of information and I don't know I like I was driving there and I was like for the first time in ever I actually feel like I'm dressing my age because I no longer have to wear a uniform my old uniform was like a tailored white top and like to your knees skirt and black tights and a blazer I literally looked like I was in secondary school especially because I well, when I started that job I was 23 and looked a lot younger than I do now so even, even now I get told I look young I passed for like 19 so I literally looked like I was joining the kids going to school so that was awful but today I actually felt like really smart and I had my, I did my makeup obviously you can still tell some of it's still on my eyeshadow stays on so well the rest of it not so much but I have been wearing a mask on and off all day so that's good but yeah um so reading plans so I'm just going to talk you through some books I'd love to get done I don't think they're gonna get done this week um but they're just ones that you know I need to reach and get this Ugh, they're just ones that I do want to get through so first off I'd love to get further into Royal Assassin um so the second book in the Farsi trilogy Barb's is doing a read along for this and an another book I'll mention in a second I am behind they're currently on Assassin's Quest I'm not gonna get both done this month <laughs> at all um but if I could like crack on with this that'd be fantastic and then if I could get further in this and actually get closer to finishing that then maybe I'll just be one book behind and maybe one month I'll catch up I don't know and then the other book that they're doing a read along for there are loads of books they're doing read alongs for but I as much as I wanted to actually keep up with a lot of them I think An Ember in the Ashes was one The Final Empire was definitely one um I do hope to read The Final Empire this month, we'll see. Um, I want to get further and or finish Air of Fire. I am no further than I was when I last spoke about this, so I'm on page 298. So I have about 360 odd pages left, which is quite a lot to be fair. I then got really down-ish yesterday about my not reading anything, like not finishing anything last week, so I decided to then pick up another book, which is the Book of Coley, um, which is on my list, and this is the one that I lost with. So it's a book that's been sat on my shelf for ages that I've wanted to read, but um, not the one I was most excited to read, which was The Justice of Kings, which I plan to get to like first thing in Feb, hopefully. This is already really interesting actually, so I'm literally only nine pages in because I just read like a couple of chapters before I went to bed last night. It was kind of late and I was like, well I just want to read anything just to kind of chill me out. So that's what I did. This is written from a young lad's point of view and as the author describes it, he wanted to write a book about a character, like from this character's point of view and this character is like very illiterate and you can tell and to begin with the writing was a little bit jarring because it's written as this this person would speak um 
and like the first line is i got a story to tell you and i was just like okay and then my brain takes it takes like me a little bit to get my brain to stop filling in the words and like rearranging the words for it to make perfect sense um but i think i'm gonna really enjoy this actually i'm really interested to find out about you know the post post apocalypticness of this book because this is like dystopian and what a shunned man is and all sorts so this sounds really good and then finally i have actually started this which is called from the north by dw ross which i was very kindly sent i'd love to finish this this week that'd be fantastic i'm literally 18 pages in there so far but already it's really good i'm really enjoying it honestly he's also released what the second book looks like without the dust jacket and with the dust jacket and it's stunning so i really really hope that i you know enjoy this and want to carry on the series um i will give you my honest thoughts like as i go through and read this book um but yeah i'm loving it and i can't wait i do already like our main character and i there's like a hint already within the first three chapters there's a hint about um magic that is no longer used within this world and this country and if you get caught with magic then it's kind of like um essentially it sounds like a death sentence so i'm really interested to learn more about that as well there is a really sweet relationship already with our main character ogolf and his friend i think it's malcolm but i don't know if i'm saying that right Melkin, sorry his name is Melkin and Melkin is by the sounds of it an orphan child that is like his best friend and they just seem really adorable so really enjoying that so yeah we'll see what I read I'm, I'm not going to pick anything right now because every time I tell you I'm going to read something I never read it but this was a very very long intro I probably won't be back again today but I, yeah I just wanted to come on and like kind of talk through books that I want to get through and I'm going to sit and read and enjoy. Really, that's kind of my plan. And yeah, my first day went well. I got a work phone, so now I have two phones, which is great because I already lose one of them, so I don't need another one. But I now have two phones. Um, <sighs> spent most of the day trying to get my email to work because it just wouldn't work. So that was also fun yeah i am actually working an event on thursday and i think that will be the point where i know whether this is the job for me because obviously currently as as with any job your first week is all inductions and learning new things and meeting new people and it is obviously quite stressful and stuff but I think viewing what I'm actually going to be doing in the future is exactly what will make me go, yes, this is the job for me. Um, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. So yeah, all around positive start to the week, even though it's Blue Monday. I think it's quite a, it's been quite a good day for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna leave this here and I will probably talk to you tomorrow now and hopefully I read something. So wish me luck. Hello everyone and happy Wednesday evening. I didn't talk to you yesterday. <laughs> Things just got chaotic. But I have my new phone and it works. And I'm so happy. I mean, I'm just waiting for my number to change over. And then, yeah, and then I've got this mouse case, which is meant to be like the best case. And it's sparkly uh, or speckly. So that's quite cool. Um, reading wise, I do have an update, but not a physical reading update. I don't know, I might read in a bit, but I've started listening now to Crescent City and I have to sign in. <laughs> oh no, that was easy. This is the thing, when you get a new phone, and I will stop banging on about this shortly, but this is, I've only had this for like a little while. Um, when you get a new phone, you've got to like log into blinking everything again, which, not everything, but a fair amount. So I have, hang on. Oh gosh, it's going to start and stop. I've got just like literally 42 seconds over, 16 hours left. So 16 hours left of Crescent City. I am on like chapter 9 or 10. Um, like always, 
I am enjoying it. I like what? Yeah, I'm halfway, like just over halfway through chapter nine. I am enjoying it again, but I've never listened to the audiobook, so I'm really pleased with it. To be fair, I'm enjoying it more than I thought I would, which is fantastic. I'm gonna keep listening to that on the way to work. Hopefully, get that crossed off my list this month, ready for the sequel to come out next month. And yeah, I haven't really read anything else, so I'm just gonna keep this short and sweet and yeah that is my update and i will talk to you maybe tomorrow morning if i've if i achieve anything tonight because i'm working a late shift so i won't be home until gone 10 o'clock tomorrow tomorrow morning tomorrow evening so tomorrow might be a bit of a long day but it's exciting because i'm actually working in an event so that's gonna be cool so I'm going to leave this here and I will speak to you tomorrow, hopefully. Hello everyone and happy Thursday. Uh, this is going to be super, super quick because I actually need to get ready to leave now and get fuel before I, I go on my trek to work. Uh, but I just wanted to do a super quick update. So I'm over 50 pages in this, which is, it's not an awful lot and I know it's not an awful lot. But we have met our main character and we've met family and we've met his best friend and there's already intrigue around some of the characters that he lives with. Um, within the first couple of chapters we find out that there is like an attack coming to their land essentially and it is just really good. So we're now on like a journey essentially and my favourite things to read about are journeys and like trials so and heists can't forget a good heist so really looking forward to where this is going i haven't been able to read as much this morning as i wanted to i just kind of took it slow this morning um in getting myself ready for work and um i had hot chocolate and had some biscuits and it's just quite nice and chill because it's going to be a long day now so yeah i that's the phone um so yeah i'm gonna leave this here and i will be back to talk to you tomorrow hopefully after i have like a normal day but i've got an event tonight so i'm really excited to see what that means at this new company so i will see you later hello everyone um it is still thursday currently i'm about to jump in the shower um because i don't want to do it in the morning but i've come home to this and i haven't ordered anything so I'm gonna see what it is. So let's have a look. Ooh. Let's see if I can. There's two books in here. Who is? Who is? Who's done this? Also, I apologise if like I like it. I am excited. I'm just knackered. Uh, this Rajan. Honestly, <laughs> what you? Spoil me so much. How am I gonna get through? <gasps> no, you didn't. Oh, thank you so much. You have finished my trilogy. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Wow. This is book two and three of the Mistborn series. I have got a Final Empire and I am meant to be body reading it with Kate this month. And uh, if you hadn't noticed from my reading, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm now set to read the whole thing so Rajan thank you again so much honestly you spoil me you have officially finished off two of my series I think and what was the other thing you got me the other day and started me off on a new series as well so <laughs> thank you so much this is fantastic this has actually just brightened my whole evening um I had a bit of a a rubbish start to my day um which just involved me going into work to stand around serving tea and coffee which is fine because it's kind of part of my job but it was freezing and i was outside all day in this which is not very thick and luckily i decided to take my coat but i hadn't been pre-warned that i was going to be standing outside at all i got told i was going to be helping out with some refreshments in in being the key word in the sports center i was not in the sports center i was outside and it was so cold like to the point where it took me i'm still not warm which is another reason i'm having a shower i'm still not warm 
so yes i'm gonna go have a shower now and then curl up and go to bed because i'm up at six in the morning so i literally have like less than seven hours sleep currently so that's fun can't wait for that but i'm gonna leave this here because i need to so i will now talk to you tomorrow afternoon no tomorrow evening because i'm nine five tomorrow when i'm well and truly broken so i'll see you then hello everyone and happy sunday so yes playstation's on hence the whirring has to happen at least once or twice doesn't it for a weekly vlog to be from me so i'm here to wrap this vlog up somehow i haven't actually spoken to you for the past two days i thought i had i was convinced i had but apparently not so friday i was in work um i what did i do i don't really know um <laughs> Friday oh my manager was back so she was off with Covid at the start of the week managed to get her two negative tests so she came in and it was the first time that we've actually met outside of interviews so that was quite good like I finally felt as though I might really be able to sink my teeth into this job and kind of saw more what I needed to do um I have also changed my hours around for next week although it really matters to you guys but I was meant to be off Tuesday, Wednesday next week, but I'm actually going to be off Tuesday, Friday instead because they're doing some sort of stock take on the Wednesday and I need to know how to do it, so I've offered to do it um, to change my days around because it also benefits me because I can help with an event that we've got on on Friday for jack's company so that's pretty good so it's nice when things like that work out for yourself as well so that's all well and good reading update so i have been listening a lot to um audiobooks i've been listening to it today actually um i'm doing really really well so I have been listening to Crescent City and I'm officially on chapter 46 which means I've got 8 hours and 14 minutes left on 1.5 minutes 1.5 minute? 1.5 speed which is great I can finish this next week so at least I'll have definitely read one book this month go me uh, I have also made up progress on the it's not even the I've made progress on cold from the north by DW Ross I am now 74 pages in again not very big but I have not really had the chance to kind of sit still and read so hopefully that will change as I get more into my routine of not really having a routine but I know that I am going to be reading more audiobooks and I actually did put out a tweet on Twitter funnily enough um about audiobooks and recommendations and I have so many recommendations and I have so many things on my wish list for my audible so that's pretty cool I just need to wait for some credits and stuff to come in so that's fantastic um oh I have actually finished something today today this week I finished Giant Days volume 2 which is a graphic novel series about three girls in university and I read the first one like last week or the week before and I was like oh well it was all right so I'll carry on with the series I carried on with the series and it's a no from me I'm DNFing that series I don't want to read any more I don't care it's I don't know like maybe when I was in university I'd relate to it more or I'd enjoy it more but there is also no fantasy elements to it it is literally just contemporary so not really up my street really if you know me as a human not up my street so I've dnf that I've read two volumes though so that's pretty cool I have also I've downloaded so so backing up when i put that tweet out about audiobook recommendations a lot of the audiobook recommendations i got were from indie authors which is fantastic and they were all recommending me their books or and other books as well and i had other people recommend me like well-known books like um peter v brett painted man was recommended to me um empire of the vampire was recommended to me which is already on my wish list so i think i might listen to that next not too sure but yes, yeah, so I've already listened, to, I've already written that down, so that's pretty cool. But a lot of people were recommending me books that are actually on Kindle Unlimited, and currently I have a Kindle Unlimited like subscription, so I have actually downloaded so many books on Kindle Unlimited, which is wicked. Um, I think I've added since putting that out, I've one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight things, which is 
crazy i started reading which one's this one the look of a king pillars hang on pillars of peace book one which is by tom dumbrell and it just i'm on chapter two but it just looks like that i don't know whether there you go so that is its little you know cover but i have been i started reading that i've only got like 12 pages into it because i wanted to give it a go and see what i thought and that's pretty cool i'm liking that a lot actually so i'm looking forward to reading that and i think i'm gonna massively try and read so many more indie author books possibly next month i don't know when i need to cancel this the 28th of feb i'm thinking about keeping kindle unlimited because why not there's loads of good books on there that i want to read but the, my thing is i don't want to pay for audible and kindle unlimited that might change anyways uh yeah so next month for me i'm doing fantasy feb which is i don't think it's a readathon for anyone but i'm just concentrating on getting through my fantasy books next month so maybe i will try and read a load of indie books as well and then vlog it as well because that'd be pretty cool i love vlogging and well, i find vlogging so much more relaxed but i love reading indie books is what i meant to say and i love discovering new authors anyways so that's going to be pretty cool so that's pretty much it for reading me babbling on um friday like i said i was at work oh yesterday was so good yeah so yesterday i went to jack's mum's house and she very kindly hemmed some trousers for me because i'm short and they were too long so she very kindly hemmed them for me and then we went and saw the new spider-man film no way home and oh my goodness like it was really good i don't understand personally why people were crying at it but i'm not a very quiet books and movies person takes a lot i think or yeah it does it just takes a lot it's not I don't, I don't remember the last time i cried at a film if i'm honest so i really enjoyed it i loved what happened in it i'm not going to say anything because obviously no spoilers but yeah such a good film and it was really spontaneous as well because i have this new thing with work where it's like perks perks of working there and one of the perks is that you can get up to 55% off cinema tickets so I paid for one person yeah I paid the price of one ticket at our cinema for two people which is pretty cool I quite like that but yeah I'm gonna leave this here I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna end this vlog here because this is the end of the week so I hope you have enjoyed this vlog it's a little bit less talkative this week because i have had a lot going on and i have been getting back really late from work but i'm glad that i am finding audiobooks that i'm enjoying and i'm really glad that i can actually have audiobooks and listen to them because honestly it's kind of saving my reading so thankfully for that but if you did enjoy this vlog please give it a like really supports me and my channel leave me a comment down below of what you managed to read this week and if you don't want to leave me a comment of what you read and you just want to leave an emoji just leave me any moon emoji for crescent city i will finish that next week i'm gonna set that as a mini goal for myself i think that'll work and if you want to see more of me please consider subscribing down below and ringing that notification bell to get notified every single time i upload new videos i'm back to uploading on a wednesday and on a sunday so be sure to stick around for more bookish content from me but otherwise that is everything for today's video i'm gonna go get some biscuits and uh i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>